It's a medical breakthrough that is expected to advance the search for a cure for AIDS. Three years ago, a man infected with HIV received a stem cell transplant. The donor was genetically resistant to the virus that causes AIDS. And that resistance appears to have been passed on. Uh, the patient was well and uh, that the measures we had of the HIV reservoir in, this, in the body uh, showed that there was very, very little virus there, if, if any at all. And, and at that point, we stopped the treatment. And so we, we're now 18 months in, um, and uh, we're confident that this will be a long-term remission, but it's too early to say as to whether this is a cure or not. The British man was infected in 2003 and started taking antiretroviral drugs in 2012. He was later diagnosed with cancer, and after completing chemotherapy, the man underwent a stem cell transplant in 2016. Until now, Timothy Ray Brown was the only patient to be free of HIV after a stem cell transplant. Five years after he stopped taking antiretroviral drugs, the virus remains almost undetectable in his body. The treatment may have worked for both Brown and the British man, but doctors say it won't work for everyone. This is because the procedure is expensive, complicated and possibly life-threatening. That in itself is, a, is not a treatment that one would want to give to somebody who is living with HIV on current medicines and is very healthy. Our patients have a, a near normal life expectancy and we would never want to give somebody treatment that could potentially threaten that. Almost a million people die each year from HIV-related diseases. For decades, scientists have struggled to find a cure for the virus that has infected nearly 40 million people worldwide. The latest form of treatment may be out of reach for most of them, but some say it's a milestone in helping keep people alive. Philip Oera, TRT World.